Hello, I'm Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. Today I have the pleasure to present you an absolutely stunning 1973 Chevrolet Camaro Z28 Custom. This particular car has been nicknamed the Root Beer Float simply because of its unbelievable paint job, color, and of course the white stripes that accent the whole deal. This car uh, was born a real Z28 um, as indicated by not only the VIN number but the trim tag. Uh, there's pictures of this vehicle during its restoration process which clearly document the car was born as a Z28. Uh, the story goes the car was actually from a town in Idaho where it was actually kept uh, for many years in a garage. Uh, it was purchased by the gentleman who actually decided to do a complete restoration. This was a car that was stripped completely down to bare metal. It retains all the original sheet metal, uh, which is really rare with second generation Camaros. Um, this particular car's body is super, super straight. All of the gap lines are really, really nice. Um, it does have the flat hood, which looks really nice with the split bumpers up front, and it has the three-piece uh, Z28 rear spoiler in the back. Um, the paint job is actually uh, very similar to what the car was born with. Um, it actually was born dark brown with a saddle interior and they painted it a 2018 Toyota color uh, which is actually uh, similar to root beer if you will. It's a beautiful beautiful brown metallic. It's got kind of a little bit of a pearl tinge to it. It's a color that if you see it in person it is truly stunning and which separates this particular car apart from the rest of the competition. Um, the car actually has completely uh, been restored. Everything on the outside of it is like new. Uh, the tail lights, the, the headlights, uh, the emblems, um, the bumpers, uh, even the front windshield is new. The side glass and the rear glass is actually original and in really nice condition. The car sits uh, perfectly. It's got a great stance on brand new 18 inch billet specialty Legend series wheels, which are absolutely perfect for this car. Uh, the wheels allow you to see uh, the brakes. It's got four wheel disc brakes with red calipers, uh, drilled and slotted rotors that let you clearly see those through the wheels. Uh, once again, this is one of the nicest looking second generation Camaros I've ever seen. Uh, it's been a long time since we've had a second generation Camaro at the dealership, so I'm really proud to have this particular car. Uh, getting into the interior of this car, it's been completely restored. Everything was taken down to a, a shell and it was all put back together. Um, it's got a new headliner, new sun visors, which are actually kind of this saddle color. Um, it's got a brand new dash that includes upper and lower. It has a brand new um, gauge cluster with auto meter, white phantom gauges. We actually did that at the dealership. Um, we also added this brand new Billet Specialties Formula Bronze steering wheel. This is a new steering wheel that just came out. I thought it was the perfect color uh, to kind of complement the colors of this car. It was a super expensive wheel, but I think well worth it. Um, so it sports that. It also has a tilt uh, column here. Everything in the interior is in functioning order. Uh, all the gauges, all the lights, um, even the heat works well. Uh, it's got a center console here for storage. It's got a Hearst uh, shifter with this black knob. Uh, it's got a Pioneer CD player, uh, iPod hookup and all that kind of stuff, Bluetooth. It also has Alpine 6x9 speakers in the rear deck. Um, the rest of the interior, the door panels, um, the carpeting, the seats, everything was redone. It was redone in the um, uh, upgraded weave material, which is a little different than the standard vinyl that the car came with. Um, but it's really cool that it kind of still shares its original color combination, which is nice. Uh, the trunk compartment was just redone tastefully with its trunk uh, spray that was done kind of similar to what they did at the factory. Um, getting into the engine compartment, the engine compartment is really nicely detailed. The underneath of the hood, the firewall and the inner fenders were painted kind of a satin uh, black finish, which looks really nice. Um, the engine is actually a 383 GM 4-bolt main V8. Um, it's been obviously stroked. It's got a lot of uh, high performance, uh, high quality parts in the engine. Uh, we at the dealership did a bunch of cool things to dress up the exterior of the engine. 
uh, such as the custom you know air cleaner and valve covers and things like that uh, so this engine is extremely powerful I probably would estimate the horsepower well into the 400 range my mechanic seems to think maybe four and a quarter somewhere around there it's definitely a really healthy engine it's got a uh, more of a modern front runner pulley system on the front which is really nice we also added a custom aluminum radiator uh, which has got dual fans it's got a lot of uh, CFMs that are blowing through there I think it's 3700 to be exact um, and one other thing I want to mention about the engine compartment is it's got Ring Brothers uh, hood hinges that we actually installed here at the dealership as well we thought that the hinges would match the wheels perfectly and again the engine compartment is really really nice in this car the engine breathes through hooker super competition ceramic headers and it also has a pipes uh, stainless steel exhaust system that sounds awesome you'll get to hear it in a minute um, the engine is actually coupled to a Muncie uh, M21 close ratio four-speed transmission and the power is transferred uh, through the rear end uh, it's a 10 bolt GM posi rear end it's got a locker it's got upgraded axles it's got 411 gears just a really beefy uh, rear end to handle the power of the car and so forth the undercarriage um, of the car is really really nice it's finished similar to the engine compartment with its satin uh, black finish and so forth um, all of the uh, suspension is uh, new it's all brand name stuff underneath we kind of have spelled out in our description uh, a little bit more details regarding the suspension the braking system and all of that um, it does have power steering so once again this is a car that uh, was built to definitely show but it was also a car that was built to drive and it definitely was set up to pound the pavement if you feel like getting on it and really getting aggressive with it it's the perfect car for that so rather than me rattle on anymore uh, it's definitely worth you going to our website um, for a complete description with tons of photos it's msclassiccars.com I'm gonna go ahead and start the car and let you listen how beautiful it runs starts up instantly I can't say enough about how well this car runs. Absolutely. 